today we're going to learn how to do our project of yarn art. What we're going to end up doing is something like this. It needs to be completely covered. Notice I have no holes showing anywhere. It needs to have three or more colors and it needs to be looking neat and tidy. Now the back is going to be also neat, but it doesn't need to be perfect. But I shouldn't have loose strands of yarn hanging off of it. Alright, and again, this is the front. So we're going to be doing something like this. It can be any design you want, uh, but it does need to have three or more colors. If you don't want to do a picture like this, you can do just the pattern of it. To start, you're going to need these supplies. You're going to need your yarn needle, your piece of plastic canvas, some kind of scrap paper, and then some of the yarn that was included in your bag. To start, you're going to take a little piece of this paper. You need just a little small one. You're going to take your yarn and you're going to wrap the end of the yarn so it's covered by the paper. You're going to slide that paper through the eye of your needle and pull. That is the easiest way to get yarn through your needle. Now, you're going to want to keep a tail where it is. You're not going to tie it on. Most of the time you're going to think, I need a little piece like that. No. As you are doing this project, that is going to come through the needle. So have a long tail. You need a piece of yarn about this long. It's about the length that we were using for sewing from your fingertips to your elbow. The reason why if you get a longer piece than that, it's going to end up getting knotted and it's hard to deal with. The way to start is you're going to start at the bottom. You're going to skip this very first square. You're going to go to the second square and you're going to go up from the bottom like we've been doing on sewing. Always start from the bottom. You're going to pull it through and you're going to keep pulling until you have a little tail in the back like that. You're going to take one of your fingers and you're going to hold that tail down. You're going to come back to the front. You can see where I'm holding it down on this bottom row. You're going to go from where you came up. You're going to go up one, over one, and you're going to go down through that hole. And you're going to pull. Now, you're going to come up. You came up here. You're going to come to the next square. So you're going to go up from the bottom, pull it through, and then you're going to go up one and over one and go down. Now, if you notice, when I come up from the back, I'm poking through that yarn tail in the back. That's going to stitch it down so you don't have that loose yarn hanging out anywhere. So you're going to go up from the bottom. You're going to pull your yarn so it's nice and tight. You don't want to pull it so hard that you're going to rip the plastic, but it shouldn't be loose. Then you're going to go up one and then over one. And you're going to continue on down this row using your yarn. And I will show you the next step in a moment. As you're going down your line, you'll find that sometimes your yarn gets all knotted up like that. All you have to do is hold up your project and let the needle spin and it'll unwind it so it's not all kinked up again. All right, when you get down to the end, you have a couple different ways you can do this, and I'm gonna show you both of them. Now, you can then turn your plastic and start going this way, so your lines all go in a square around everything, or you can go up and start going back and forth so it goes this way. I'm going to show you how to do both. So you're at the very last square. You're going to go in that. You're going to pull it through to go this direction again. You're going to go up and over. And what happens is see this top row where all that yarn is? That is now your bottom row. So you're going to go 
up one, pull it through, because see, there's that empty hole right there. Push it through, pull, and you're going to continue doing the up one over one, okay? And then pull. Then you're going to go one over. See how it's the top next square? You're going to poke it through. And again, you're going to go up one over one. And that's how you do that one. Now, if you wanted to just turn and go from here, you would go through this one because you always skip that first one and you go through that and you go up one over one. Then you go to the next one. You're going to go up and then up one over one. It looks weird because I went in the other direction. And then you just keep going up one over one. Okay. The key is when you're doing it, this bottom row and then this top row, that top row then becomes the bottom and then you just move up. All right. All right. When you get down and you're about this far on your thread, you're going to go up and then over one more time. And that's about as far as you're going to be able to get with it to end this, to end this and start a new piece of yarn. You're going to flip it to the back and you're going to take your needle and you're going to go up under a couple of stitches. See how that is? And then you're going to pull your needle through. That's going to pull the yarn through. And then you cut this little tail off and it's a nice uh, even back. You don't have little pieces of yarn hanging off. Okay. To start a new piece of yarn, you're going to do the same thing just in the opposite direction. So you'll thread your yarn through your needle, pull it out a little bit, and you're going to go in the opposite direction that you just did. You're going to go through some of the stitches. You're going to pull your needle all the way through and that's going to take care of that tail. You pull it till it's all the way and then you continue on with your stitch.